About four years ago, I bought a couple of these mag switch magnets. Just thought it would be kind of nice to have. See if I could use them. Well, in the meantime, in that four and a half years, I've increased my collection. And I find more and more uses for these. So, in this video, just a few of the things that I am using them for. Turn to activate. Turn to deactivate. I've been doing a lot of kayaks, I and mean, kayaks have been really selling well. But the paddles, you know, they all have to be the same. Here's what I found. In this case, I'm using a notcher and using it's kind of a manual indexing. They're a half inch in width. So I can just index those through. Now, the notcher is a pretty expensive piece of equipment. But let's say you don't have that, but you've got one of the something similar to this Grizzly 5 inch shear. So I can do the same thing using the magnets, squaring up the rule, and then shearing these off at a half inch length. Brazing these two circles into the kayak. Now once I apply the torch, the heat, these outside rods can flex back and forth. So by using these blocks of steel and then the magnets, I can make sure that they do not flex. These blocks might be able to handle it all by itself. But having these magnets, just make sure that it's not going to flex. For 40 years, I've been making these bike racks. And putting this like half circle on the side of the bike rack has always given me fits. Well, now I've got what I think is pretty much a sure cure for this. If you watch, you can see how I can kind of whiz through these very quickly just by setting up this simple fixture using the magnets. Now, if you like this video and you're interested in the magnets, I probably got about 20 more uses for them than I'm using here in the shop. So let me know if you like this video and I'll get some more magnet videos up.